Hi everyone, my name is Faizan Amjad and today we are going to create the simple turn page animation completely inside DaVinci Resolve. First step, we need to create a paper from scratch for high resolution. If you download paper from Google, you can also do that but I'm going to create my own paper from scratch. Go to generator, scroll down and drag solid color in timeline. Now we can press alt key, use the scroll, we can zoom in and zoom out in timeline. I'm going to select this corner, drag this to the right side to increase the length of my color. We can select the color, click here, we can change the color to white. Click OK. Now we can right click create a new compound clip and once we have the compound clip we can right click and we can create a new fusion clip. Now we have the fusion clip. So go to the fusion page, click here. Use your mouse scroll to drag your timeline like this. Now search for the effect called grid. Drag this between your nodes. Once it connected, we can change the viewer to single screen. Now we can't really see the grid line because the grid color is also white. So we have to change the color to your customized color. So I'm going to select this color. Click OK. Now lower the major line spacing to 0. Change the column cell to 30 and change the raw cell to 18. Once we have the paper, go to edit page again, right click and create a new compound clip again. Once we have the compound clip, go to the fusion clip and this time I'm going to drag my rectangle mask and connect this to the media in. Use your control key, hold the control key, use the scroll to zoom and then zoom out preview screen. Now we can select this rectangle mask and we can mask the paper. Once we have this paper, we can search for another effect called paper edge. Go to templates and now we have this effect. Connect this effect between your nodes. Lower the alpha of shadow and check this out. We have this paper. Now you can play around with the edges contrast. You can play around with the roughness. But I really like the default values, so I'm not going to change any value here. Now go to the edit page and go to the video transition and search for transition called page curl. Drag this transition on top of your compound clip and have a look. We have this effect. Now we can select this transition or you can select your clip. Go to the transition, scroll down and first of all I'm going to lower my shadow blend to 0%. Now we have this transition. I'm going to place my play ahead right here. Press Ctrl B to split the clip. Now I'm going to again drag this transition, select my clip and we can increase the transition by dragging this value to the right side or we can lower the duration by dragging it to the left side. Now we have another problem. If we play this video, this page is overlapping the previous page. So to avoid this problem, we can simply drag this to the above layer. Now we can apply this transition. Now if you apply this transition and if you select this, if your transition is like this, then it will again overlap your previous page. So to avoid this, we can select this by going to the transition of this clip. Now by default, we have this animation. So I'm going to increase my roll amount to about 0%. Now add a keyframe, go view frame ahead and lower the amount and now check this out. Now again, I'm going to split this clip, but before we split this clip, we have to select the transition. We have to go to the fusion page. Now, once we are in fusion page, select the page curl effect, go to the subline, check this, click here. Now we can zoom out by pressing the control key and use the scroll to zoom in and zoom out. Select these keyframe and click here to smooth out their animation. Now go to the fusion page. We can also lower and now check this out. Now we can split this clip, delete this one by pressing the backspace. Now we can select this clip, press Alt key and we can drag this to the right side to have a duplicate copy. And now we can change, go to the transition, we can change the angle and we can again select this clip, press Alt, hold it, drag this to the right side and this time I'm going to change the angle and again for the final time, let's change the angle to about this. And if we play this clip, as you can see, now we have this animation. Now we can simply select all the clip, right click, create a new compound clip. Now we have to also add the final effect called 
flying flag go to the effects drag this effect on top of your final compound clip we can change the x rotation because as you can see the page is turning coming from this side so we can increase the scale to avoid this problem now the page is also like this so we can change the x rotation to about 21 lower the bump scale let's increase a little bit and now as you can see we have this page turn animation now go to google and google this top view table and download any image that you like drag your image in davinci resolve drag your image in timeline place your image of table below this layer and now as you can see we have this paper animation right now we have this problem so we can simply fix this by increasing the scale like this we can also increase the size of the table and for the final effect we can also add an effect called drop shadow go to the open effects drag this effect on top of your compound clip go to the effects go to the open effects and we can lower the strength we can lower the distance change the angle a little bit and we can also add a blur in shadow something like this and now check this out we have this amazing page and animation now we can do one more thing to improve this effect go to the effects drag adjustment layer and search for an effect called shake effect we can lower the motion we can lower the speed increase the motion blur and simply check out the effect so this is how you can create the simple page turn animation completely inside davinci resolve